Hey, I'm Dave here at Salmon Trout Steel Header. Today we're going to quickly show you how to try to tie a yarny and a couple of different options on that as well as just a standard old egg loop. First what I do is I grab whatever line I'm using. I particularly like a 10 pound fluorocarbon. And what I'll do if I'm going to tie multiple rigs is I'll take a board and two nails and pop them at the appropriate distance. I like to start with about a 40 inch blank so the nails will be 20 inches apart and then I wind around a whole bunch of times and then I simply cut one end of that and it'll leave me all the same length so everything is measured and ready to go. From there to tie the yarn, simply go through the eye of the hook Go back quite a distance and then come back forward with the second loop. So you're back through the eye of the hook. Pinch it off like so. That's going to be where your yarn goes. Then simply Take and tie your egg loop on top of that. So you just start wrapping back over the shank. I like to go eight, ten times. Simply pinch that off like so. Then take your existing line. back up through the eye of the hook just as a normal egg loop and pull it out a little bit further and then just continue wrapping your egg loop right over the top of that. Three, four times. Then just pull your egg loop forward and what you have is your egg loop on the front side and now you have your loop back here to tie your yarn. We've taken several strands of various yarns and put them through a big straw. These are just generic milkshake straws. You get them at Fred Meyer's or grocery store. You just pull a bunch of it through, put it into the existing eye and then just snug that forward. get it up there good and tight. Let's pull out a little bit more. And there's some advantages to doing it this way because you can mix and match your own particular colors. But I'll show you the easy way to do it here in just a minute. Of course. There's your yarny pretty much all ready to go. Then all you have to do is just trim your tag lines off and you're ready to go. And you have an existing bait loop. So if you want to put your little beta eggs in behind there, you can just push that back as well. There's kind of the basics in tying a quick yarny. Here's the easy way that we like to tie yarnies, or I do, is simply buy the pre-made yarn balls from a company called Fuzz Bombs down in Grants Pass. And then all you do is you take your, your egg loop that you've already got tied and a big sewing needle. And all you have to simply do is pull your egg loop back apart, stick the leader right straight through your sewing needle and then just go through the center of the yarn ball like so and then all you have to do is just put this back up through the eye of the hook just look back to the normal egg loop and it gives you a couple of things a your yarny is in place and if you want to use bait with it, you simply just grab the yarny and pull backwards. Now you got your egg loop. Very simple. 
get those pre-made at Fuzz Bombs. You can find him on Facebook. So you're out in the boat and you're getting a good bite and all of a sudden you're out of your favorite colored ones that you have pre-tied, but you have some underneath the seat of your boat. Instead of going through the whole rigmarole of threading them on or doing anything, simply just get yourself one of these little called bait buttons. They're available at most tackle stores or online. And you just simply grab your yarn ball, yarny, fuzz ball, slide it on the shank of your hook like so, and then take this little guy and just stick that thing right straight through there. And it's essentially just like a little rubber washer that'll grip the, the hook itself and just simply slide it up and it'll just keep that yarn ball right up there where you want it. And then you still have access to your, you know, if you want to throw some bait behind there or sand shrimp or egg cluster, you can still get that on there as well. Okay, we're, now we're tying a soft bead on the end of a yarny, which is the trailer half of a double rig for bobber dogging. We've got our hook that's pre-snelled that we just tied up. And then in the uh, B&R Pro Pack soft bead kit comes these little uh, bobber stops already all ready to go. It's about as convenient as you can get. Simply just stick your leader through one of those little holes and then simply just uh, through one hole, not three. Peel them back and then all you have to do is just slide that bobber stop down on your line like so. Run it down to, you know, within four inches or so of your hook. Then also in Brandon's kit comes a package of sequins. The sequins just act as a, a big stop for your bead so it can't go any further than, than right where you set that. Then just thread your uh, soft bead on there and you're good to go. Now you can either wrap that on your board singly or Get it tied up for a double rig and simply just attach that straight to the shank of the hook and tie an improved cinch knot. Don't forget to always get a little bit of moisture on your line. These, these small diameters burn pretty easy. But there's your basic two-rig bobber dog and setup.